Hello and welcome to the channel. Be sure to share, like, and comment down below. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button for daily videos on news and politics. Cherokee woman torches fake Indian Elizabeth Warren. We've asked her to stop claiming our ancestry. A Cherokee woman named Rebecca Nagel of Oklahoma joined Fox News' Jesse Waters to discuss fake Indian Senator Elizabeth Warren, a Democrat out of Massachusetts. Um, it says that Rebecca Nagel blasted Elizabeth Pocahontas Warren for lying about her Native American ancestry in order to advance in her career. Elizabeth Warren lied about her Cherokee heritage in order to get a lucrative six-figure paying job at Harvard. Warren was also celebrated as the first minority woman to receive tenure, Waters said. So let's take a listen in at uh, Rebecca Nagel's uh, uh, full interview on Fox News now. Lying about her heritage to get a job at Harvard. The university actually celebrated her as the first minority woman to receive tenure. Rebecca Nagel is a citizen of the Cherokee Nation and a Democrat who says Warren must apologize to Native Americans before she can consider a presidential run. She joins me now. Okay, so Rebecca, what would you like to hear from Senator Warren specifically? You know, as um, a mixed Native woman, I get to relive the stereotypes that Warren perpetuates every day. You know, people ask me, what part Cherokee are you? Who in your family was Cherokee? I'm not part Cherokee. I am Cherokee. I'm a citizen of a federally recognized tribe. We are contemporary people. We have vibrant communities. We are not fractions of imagined Indians who used to exist. So what I would love to see Elizabeth Warren do is take responsibility for her false claim. You know, she heard a story growing up as an adult. She's been presented with a large amount of evidence, realized that that was not true, and that would be an amazing example for us as Cherokee people, where there are a lot of people who are confused and think that they are Cherokee when they don't have any Cherokee relatives. But this wasn't um, something think, that she did when she was just a child. I mean, she was applying for jobs at universities and claiming that she was a Native American. And she continued to claim Native American heritage long into her adult lifetime. So it's not just like a little mistake. This is something that she did intentionally. And I think that, um, you know, despite many uh, Native people and Cherokee people coming forward and asking her to stop doing this, you know, a Cherokee genealogist traced her heritage to well before the time of the Trail of Tears and she doesn't have a single Cherokee ancestor. Um, and the fact that she hasn't responded to those requests, the fact that she hasn't heard us, shows how easily in the U.S. today we as Native people are silenced. So wait, so you're saying she's not Cherokee from your understanding at all? Um, so Cherokee, you know, I, a lot of people out there think that they have, you know, a great, great, great Cherokee grandmother. And there's this myth that after we traveled the Trail of Tears, we scattered and we vanished. And so it's, it's part of the stories that many people have in their families. Right. Um, but what actually happened is that we, you know, for those of us that came to Oklahoma, we reestablished ourselves, we reestablished our sovereign government, we still have our language, we still have our ceremonial ways. And so for people to draw on a distant relative where they have a fuzzy connection, where they can't name it, I, I can't think of a grosser misrepresentation of who we really are. Wow. We're really connected. We know each other. Right. So real quick, last question. She's a Democrat, you're a Democrat. If she does come out and apologize, would you vote for her? You know, it's interesting. You play, you know, Trump calling her Pocahontas in the lead up, and I was listening to that. And is that offensive, I, by I, the way, as a, as a Native American? Is that offensive yeah, when he makes I mean, fun Pocahontas of her for falsely claiming that person. she's Indian? Pocahontas is, was a Powhatan teenager who, rather than the fictional love story we've all been told, was actually um, kidnapped and held hostage and actually died when she was 21. It's actually a really sad story. And today, in the U.S., four in five Native women will be raped, stalked, or abused in our lifetimes. Okay. And so for those cartoons to be thrown about when our lived reality is that we're still living the violence that the real Pocahontas lived, mm -hmm. I think does. Okay. All right, Rebecca, thank you very much.
much. I really appreciate you coming in. All right, so there you have it. Be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below. Now, before we do end this video real quick, Warren's proof, she claims, that she's Cherokee is that after making money hand over fist because of the claim, she says it's because she has high cheekbones. Elizabeth Warren claimed her pawpaw had high cheekbones like all of the Indians do after being asked what her proof is. She is indeed Cherokee. So there you have it. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.